Alright everybody, Baron here. So, huge announcement guys. The Italian aircraft are finally coming to War Thunder. An update 1.69 called Regia Aeronautica. Now, my pronunciation may not be very good, but a lot of these Italian aircraft are. Some of the Italian aircraft that were produced during World War II were pretty, pretty impressive. Now, there were a number of contributing factors why many of us, you know, may not be aware of what aircraft the Italians used, but guess what? We finally get to enjoy that. So about four years ago, a little over four years, I started playing a little game called War Thunder. Now in my first two to three months of playing it, there was all this news and hubbub and kind of rumor mill that both the Italians and the French were going to eventually get their own tech trees for aircraft, because at this time War Thunder was a much simpler beast. There weren't tanks, there wasn't boats or ships, or now we know there's going to be destroyers in War Thunder. It was just aircraft, right? It was a much simpler time, and at that time it seemed reasonable that both the Italian tech tree and French tech tree were on the horizon a few months away. A few years later, we finally have a formal announcement by Gaijin that the Italians are coming. So. In the nearest major update, Gaijin plans to separate Italian aircraft, because they currently do have a couple in the game right now, into a standalone research tree. So, the Italians, ladies and gentlemen. In War Thunder Update 1.69, Regia Aeronautica, besides new ground vehicles and aircraft for existing nations, they plan to separate the Italian aircraft from the German tree into their own. So, besides updating models of the existing Italian vehicles which are in the game, they're pleased to introduce absolutely new combat aircraft of Italy. Because I think right now, if you don't count the variants of the SM-79 Spar Viero, there's maybe like three or four Italian aircraft in the game. So the combat aviation of Italy has a rich and interesting history. By the beginning of World War II, Italy had one of the largest air forces in the world, only better by the Soviets. You love how they kind of throw that in there? I love it. Anyway, Italian aircraft fought in Europe, Africa, the Mediterranean, and on the Eastern Front against the Russians, as well as, you know, the Romanians and Hungarians. So it makes you wonder, the Romanians and Hungarians, I will put this out, they've got a few interesting tanks, specifically the Hungarians. Anyway, the gifted Italian engineers designed beautiful aircraft and many of them were a challenging match for their opponents. You gotta keep in mind that the Italians have this kind of like history of producing gorgeous, and high-performing vehicles, like think about Lamborghini and Ferrari, right? So that's kind of where we could go with in regards to aircraft, just specifically by the companies Maki and Reggiana, and we can get into that anyway. So there's going to be a full-scale research tree of the Italian Air Force. Biplanes, fast light fighters, attackers, the famous three-engine bombers that we already see in the Sparviero, and even jet fighters. Yep, that's right, the Italians developed some of their own jet aircraft. Italian aircraft will become available in the closed beta test after the release of War Thunder Update 1.69 Regia Aeronautica. The first players who will be able to test Italian aviation will be the ones who complete the special marathon tasks or purchase early access packs in the online store. So just a quick note about that is like in the early days this never really bothered me because I was always just so hyped but I gotta wonder like is that the best way to do it? I understand you gotta make some money, right? And it is a free-to-play game. So it's like, you either have to put your time or your money into it, and I, hey, I don't really know. But it is it can be frustrating for those who aren't able to cough up what it seems like the $10 to get the Fiat CR32 BIS starter pack, or the $30 to get the Fiat G55S advanced pack. And look at that torpedoes on it. So, ladies and gentlemen, so there's two packs right now. We're gonna go over the, uh, let's go over the little one first, the little guy, the Fiat C CR32 BIS aircraft. It's gonna be rank one for Italy, and it will become available after the 1.69 update. So does that mean it's gonna be at the launch of it, or just after at a later time, then the patch comes out. It's a little bit ambiguous, I think. So, there's a few little pre-order bonuses, like decals, in-game titles, you get some premium count and some golden eagles, um, but then the big kicker is, you get the Italian planes closed beta access. 
Um, man. So, as a bonus, you will receive a new decal and title that will be available only for pre-order. Pre Moving away from that, let's get into the aircraft that is the Fiat CR32, which is only two of the aircraft that they are kind of announcing with it. And I'm kind of curious as to why they picked these two to be their pre-order bonuses. I truly am. There's some... But then again, I was also one of the people that I was cons I was confused as to why the P-51 Mustang wasn't, you know, one of the uh, premium aircraft that you could get when the game first launched. Way back in the day, in what, 2013, right? It, it, it never kind of... A lot of the decisions they make, I'm like, that's a, an interesting concept. You could have done it a lot better. How many Americans would just throw money at their computer thinking, oh yeah, I've heard so many good stories about the P-51 Mustang. But that is a conversation for another day. The Fiat CR-32BIS is an Italian biplane fighter and was the most widely used aircraft in the Spanish Civil War. The CR-32BIS modification was put into production in 1936 and had enhanced armament in the form of two 7.7mm machine guns and two 12.7mm Breda SAFAT machine guns. It will be a compelling show of force in the hands of the player, since even a short burst of 12.7mm explosive rounds can detach an opponent's wing or set fire to their fuel tank. It was also fitted with an upgraded engine capable of brief thrust augmentation. So, all premium vehicles allow you to earn increased research points and silver lines. Blah blah blah, there's some premium account. Now the screenshots are pretty gorgeous, you see it engaging, you know, I believe that's a gladiator. It's shooting down the British right there, and this could be Malta, or basically, you know, the Italians were at it with the British in and around the Mediterranean in North African theater for quite a while. And then the whole reason that Rommel and the Germans had to go to Africa in the first place, and we had the Deutsches Afrika Corps, was because the Italians couldn't seal the deal. You have to keep in mind that they invaded a very small country in Africa called Ethiopia and they were not able to they had a hard time taking that over there was a lot of issues with the Italian armed forces during World War II and it definitely I think it was definitely a contributing factor into you know some of the difficulties that Germany had it's like man it's like your little brother starts a fight and you gotta go finish it while you're fighting some other people and then you have the balls to you know open up another front against the Russians who you know you know a non-aggression pact with but I digress right so now we're gonna go to the Fiat G55S so the Fiat G55S is a unique version of the G55 monoplane fighter the Silurante torpedo bomber prototype as it was designated was a conversion of the Siri one variant which traded its nose mounted heavy machine guns for a torpedo pylon capable of carrying a 987 kilogram torpedo mounted on the underside of the fuselage was armed with three 20 millimeter cannons thanks to the powerful engine and sleek aerodynamic design the g55 provides its pilots with not only exceptional performance at altitude but also with smooth handling overall the g55 and its variants are sure to present themselves as more than worthy adversaries to not only opponents in the air but also to hostile targets on the high seas and then they go into their whole you know what a premium vehicle and premium account represents and then there's no refunds and whatnot but it is a very sleek looking design but it's like I gotta be I'm, I'm genuinely curious as to why the premium vehicles are a biplane and you know a hybrid fighter torpedo bomber as opposed to some of the other oh man like more infamous more famous and more renowned Italian aircraft and yes you know the CR-32 may have been the most produced aircraft during the Spanish Civil War but the Mach-E MC-202 and the Fiat CR-42 were the most produced aircraft by the Italians, you know, during World War II and basically before that. So it's, it's interesting. Plus, there's a lot of really cool and unique aircraft 
that they could have put in. Like, why isn't this uh, Maki C205 Veltro um, one of these? I mean, it's it's probably one of the finest examples of Italian, you know, aerospace engineering during the war. The thing was a beast in the air. I'm I'm genuinely kind of curious as to why it was not. Like, let's look at this. This thing is just a beautiful, beautiful aircraft, and I think it would perform incredibly well. So, it's got. I mean, I guess it could. You could argue that the art, uh, you know, the armament of it wasn't very good, but then there were some variants that had 20 millimeter cannons on it. Like there was a MC 205N2 Orione, and it had three 20 millimeter cannons and two 12.7 millimeter machine guns. So it would be incredibly powerful. However, when you think about it, I'm glad that they put the G55 in the game. I just don't real I don't know why they picked the torpedo, you know, attacker variant because the Maki 202s and 205s, the Fiat G55s and the Reggiana RA2005 were this like new Serie 5 you know, which was this program by the Italians to make some pretty powerful aircraft. So at least we have one of the Serie 5 fighters in the game. It's just, why this one? You know, why, why a torpedo as opposed to a little more armament to kind of get that feel of what the Italians, you know, what I would have always hoped to kind of experience as an Italian fighter pilot was that engaging other aircraft with a very superior and capable fighter mind with the Italian tech tree is that there are going to be a lot of very unique Italian aircraft but you're also gonna have a lot of Germans in there as well you're gonna have some Junkers you're gonna have some Messerschmitts you're gonna have some Stukas in there um, there was a lot of German aircraft being used probably one of the most interesting aircraft designs or variants rather that the Italians did come up with during World War II was a variant of the Piaggio P108 four engine heavy bomber now this thing was designed you know as a heavy bomber but obviously they were like hey we're Italians let's come up with something crazy and they came up with the P-108A which was the anti-shipping variant of the P-108s and this thing had a 102 millimeter main gun on it now you gotta keep in mind that all nations have at some point or another experimented with you know big heavy ordnance cannons on the underside of their aircraft or in the nose right and the Italians kind of have that renown as putting the biggest one. The Germans have done, you know, plenty with the 50mm and a few with the 88. By the way, why do we not have one of those in the game? Why do we not have a Junkers with the 88? I don't understand. But anyway, I'm not in charge of the game. But if they don't have the Piaggio P108 with this 102mm or 4 inch gun under it, I would be. I would be. A little disappointed because it's one of the coolest and most unique aircrafts. If we've got the BV-238 for the Germans, we need the Piaggio P-108 for the Italians. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to kind of wrap us up because this is kind of a a little bit of a news post to keep you guys up to date. But that's what's going on within War Thunder right now. The Italians are coming, and it's about time. It's kind of like I would say it's about three years later than when I would have expected it, but I'm really glad it's here because in that time we got tanks. We're also experimenting with boats and ships and that's, you know, uh, interesting in a, in a discussion for another day that we've talked about plenty of times before. But the Italians are coming and I want my Piaggio P-108. So here's the thing, I've got two questions for you. What is the, what is the Italian aircraft that you're most looking forward to and what's one aircraft in War Thunder or rather that's not in War Thunder that you're just genuinely surprised or would really really want to see in War Thunder. Let me know and I'll see you guys in the next video.